8 stars we loved from our childhood to our jerks IRL and 7 sweethearts. There are many factors who may have helped define large portions of your childhood. Everyone has at least one movie or television show that we're sure you watched enough times to drive your parents insane. But wouldn't it be sad if some of those actors that you grew up idolizing turn out to be jerks? You cheer for Steve Austin in the ring, but would you be cheering for him if you knew he also brought the fight home to his wife? Paul Rubin was idolized by millions of children, but his rest for possessing material of minors engaging in sexual acts might forever alter your perception of him. And while you may have loved some of our actresses like Amanda Bynes and Lindsay Lohan, our entries make it very clear just how low their rock bottom got. Thankfully before you get too sad, we do have happy news that not every start of your childhood is a jerk. Many of them are outstanding people that along with aging well hello Hillary does, have also worked hard to help make the world a better place. These are 8 stars from your childhood to our jerks and 7 to our sweethearts. 8. Sweetheart, McFoley. McFoley spent decades putting his body through hell for the entertainment of his fans. And when he decided it was time to start wrapping up time in the ring, he started stepping up his outstanding work for the community outside of it. This includes him being an incredibly active member of the Make a Wish Foundation, as well as helping work with several charities that work around children in the Foley also deserves to be commended for the work he has done with the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, something that he has lost thousands of hours for as a volunteer and continues to raise awareness for the organization. The WWE should be honored to have someone as respectable as Miss Foley as one of their biggest icons. 9. Jerk, Judd Nelson. You might love watching The Breakfast Club, but you might love it less after reading this entry. This widely rumored that Judd Nelson was unbearable to work with, including the relationship getting so strained between him and John Hughes that Nelson's role in the film was very much in jeopardy. Many believe the lack of a sequel is also related to their poor relationship. While we don't know if a sequel would be any good or not, we would have at least loved to see them try. While Nelson defended his behavior by saying it was just part of method acting, that method acting still involved him being an asshole to Mollering Wald in attempts to bug her. 10. Sweetheart, Miley Cyrus. We could definitely sit here and want for ages about the partying lifestyle that Miley Cyrus used to enjoy on a seemingly regular basis. But the reality is that Miley may have loved huffing on some marijuana or other drugs such as Molly. Her reputation has still managed to stay relatively clean at least legally speaking. Cyrus has also earned a positive reputation around Hollywood, especially as of late with some of her more recent music that feels more heartfelt. Cyrus is also generous both with her fortune and her time. She supports various charities and has also been a role model in the LGBTQ community for her outspoken nature about her own sexuality. 11. Jerk, Megan Fox. Transformers franchise starring Sheila B. Youth came out all the way back in 2007. That's 10 years ago. Which means that for many people reading this list, one of the first celebrities they may have found themselves crushing on is Megan Fox in the franchise. But Fox's behavior on the set was allegedly why her time in the series was only extended to the first two. It was reported that Fox insinuated that Michael Bay's directorial style was similar to that of Adolf Hitler. Others in Hollywood also started running with reports that she was difficult to work with. Fox's career has slowed down as of late to help focus on raising her three children. 12. Sweetheart, Angelina Foley. Angelina Foley was one of the biggest heart drops in the 2000s. We're sure she had at least one film such as Tomb Raider or Mr. and Mrs. Smith that you made an active point of watching on a regular basis. Not to mention other steamy roles like Original Sin for When You Got Older. But as amazing as an actress as Foley is, she's an even more amazing as a person. Her efforts to help raise awareness for refugees in the lab to her being named a special envoy for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. 
She has contributed millions of her own money and helped raise even more over the years for Arias in the including Cambodia and Kenya. 13. Jerk Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan was a large part of many people's childhood for her adorable role in The Parent Trap. As she got older, her career seemed to be on a great path including having the lead role in Mean Girls. But as we're sure you know with Lohan, life was far from a smooth road. Including several incidents that found her in handcuffs such to DUIs in 2007 and three stints in rehab. This was a trend over the next few years including several incidents of her failing to attend court-mandated sessions and a shoplifting incident in 2011. Lohan also earned the reputation as being difficult to work with on set, perhaps due to the substance abuse. Several moments of the paparazzi catching her partying also didn't paint her in any better of a light. Lohan has seemingly stopped her destructive path, but she credited her time stepping away from Hollywood as part of the reason why. 14. Sweetheart, Michael J. Fox Michael J. Fox is always going to be a beloved actor in many people's homes for his iconic role as Marty McFly in the Back to the Future franchise. But those who know Fox, also know that he tragically also suffers from Parkinson's. Fox's attitude towards his disease is beyond admirable and he absolutely deserves recognition for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research that has helped raise over $600 million towards research. Fox has used adversity to make a positive difference in the life of millions of people and that's an impact that will last long after Back to the Future fades away. 15. Jerk, Taylor Momsen Taylor Momsen sank her way into many people's hearts as Cindy Lou in the film How the Grinch Stole Christmas. As she got older, she also appeared on the series Gossip Girl. But reports started circulating around the time of her exit from the show of her terrible behavior. Tim Gunn, in particular, ripped into moms and following the guest spot on the series when talking to E! News, what a diva! She was pathetic, she couldn't remember her lines, and she didn't even have that many. I thought to myself, why are we all being held hostage by this brat? Moms and ended up leaving the world of acting to pursue her music career.